Meet Jane. Jane is a kindergarten teacher. Her mission? To help each of her students succeed. Jane met with her instructional team to plan for the year. With mounting pressures and a slew of responsibilities, they agreed. In order to identify students at risk and differentiate instruction to meet everyone's needs, they first need to figure out where each student is starting out. And use that information to plan specific instructional next steps. But how? What is the best way to get that diagnostic information? Jane could give a paper and pencil test, but is that developmentally appropriate in the early grades? She could evaluate students one on one, but that takes too long and only covers a small portion of the concepts she needs to teach. She could use informal assessment. Well, she already does. But record keeping is a challenge, and she still needs to find time to plan next steps. How about the computer based assessment her district uses in older grades? But that looks and feels just like a paper and pencil test, but on a computer. There's got to be a better way. Jane heard about children's progress from a friend in a neighboring district. Jane shared this with her team, and they decided to give children's progress a try. Now, Jane can finally use a single assessment for a broad range of literacy and math concepts. All of the content is also available in Spanish for her English language learners. She can assess her whole class in less than 35 minutes. Students see questions appropriate and challenging for them. And when they answer incorrectly, the assessment analyzes mistakes and provides targeted scaffolding. They're engaged. And excited to show what they know. And Jane can see her reports right away, anytime, anywhere, including class summaries, student groupings, specific recommended activities, detailed narratives, and progress. The reports tell her exactly how each student performed. How that student is progressing toward end of year standards and what she can do about it. During grade level meetings, administrators use children's progress data to identify resource needs. Coaches use it to plan pull out sessions. And Jane shares ideas with other teachers. During parent conferences, Jane now backs up her observations with diagnostic information and gives parents a list of fun educational activities to try at home. Jane is excited to finally concentrate on what she does best not writing, administering, and grading tests, but teaching. And those high stakes tests? No problem. With children's progress, the team is prepared to get everyone on track well before third grade. Ready to find out what children's progress can do for you? Schedule a demo today or learn more at childrensprogress.com.